Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day. Now we on road, keep us. What is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger for y'all. Now, as y'all can see, we got Vader outside the garage right now. Um, just felt like pulling them out because I actually just finished um, the video of doing the carbon fiber interior parts. So as y'all see, we got the gear selector bezel cover. We got the Camaro and then on the inside the push start stop button so yeah man we got a whole bunch of carbon fiber parts that we just added to the car but as y'all can see we still got one box that's not open so we can get rid of this one let's go ahead and pop this joint open because I told you guys in a video that or not a lot of you guys saw we were going crazy with Vader teeing up with Vader so with that being said what's in this right here is definitely definitely gonna change the game so just pop the box open once again huge shout out to Wild Hammer Motorsports if you guys are interested in getting anything performance wise for your vehicle man or even non-performance they got the flow series halo lights DR rails all of that man make sure you guys go to Wild Hammer and type in the promo code JI wild if I'm not mistaken, if I am, it pops up on the screen, man. Make sure you guys go tap in that promo code and save yourself some money on whatever you order. But as you guys can see, we got the pack and papers. We throw that away. We don't need that. GM? Huh? Huh? Is, is that a fuel line? Huh? Is that a... Is that a fuel line right there? Is, what are we... Wait a minute. Let's pop the hood for this one. Now I'm in the game, I was on the bench. On the bench. First I was renting, now I'm collecting rent. Run it up. First it with the beamer, now I want the bench. Spending all the bag like here I go. E85, man. Yes, sir. It is time, man. It is that time. We are going E85 with Vader, man. So, like I told you guys in a previous upload, it's time to go full botons with this car. Currently, we have the Rotofab Coder intake. Um and that's about it on this car we have a little dyno tune to get rid of the um, check engine light and clean up the emissions so it's not really like a tune for power it was just a tune to clean up the tune that the vehicle had because like I told you guys there was a whole bunch of false knock the car wasn't really running that well so I wanted to make sure that everything was good on the tune and the car obviously had aftermarket parts on it before the car was sold um, and they returned everything to stock so I knew that you know what I'm saying it probably more than likely was still tuned for all of those modifications so the car could no way in the name of God be working right running right you know what I'm saying so with that being said I went ahead and got the car dyno tuned to get everything cleaned up and the tune was actually pretty bad so thankfully I was able to get up there to BC Raceworks and they took care of the kid now like I told you guys in the previous video we are going full botons with this car so like I said we have the Rotofab intake um, we are waiting on the long tube headers for this car and then once we get the long tube headers um, I am about to buy the LT2 intake manifold and we'll install the E85 and the intake manifold both at the same time and then after that man we'll take the car and get the car tuned for real for real PCM tune and the TCM, I mean the ECM tune and the TCM tune. So yes, we are going to be doing the transmission tune with this car. Now that is one of the bigger things with these 10 speed cars, these A10 cars, is that if you get the motor tuned, yeah, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. It's nice and dandy. The car will run great. It'll do, you know what I'm saying? It'll do numbers. But where you really see like a big difference is when you pair the ECM tune with the TCM tune. Because at the end of the day, yeah, all of the power is being made in the engine for sure. However, 
the power has to go from the motor to the rear wheel somehow and the way that it does that is by the transmission the drive shaft and the differential so with that being said you know what I'm saying? You got to make sure that all of the components are strong and all of the components are doing everything that they need to do to get you down the quarter mile or the drag strip or wherever you're going or the strip in Mexico, whatever it is that you're doing. You got to make sure that everything is in tune. You got to make sure that you get all of the supporting mods to make sure that you don't throw a rod. You dig? So with that being said, y'all, yes, we have the E85 flex fuel kit. No, I'm not installing this today. I probably could. Um, do it today, but the only thing I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all, man. The only thing that I'm worried about is doing the pin connector. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just not a hundred percent confident in messing with the car's computer and not messing it up. Like re removing a pin and stuff like that is stuff that I've not done before, so I don't want to risk doing it on my car and messing something up. As far as the ECU goes, I'm good off of that. So with that being said, we are actually going to be holding off on the flex fuel sensor installation. But I just wanted to let you guys know, it's not cap. I'm not playing games. We definitely have the LT1 E85 flex fuel kit from Wild Hammer Motorsports. But yeah, man, without further ado, we are so much closer. We're like this maybe maybe this much closer to getting this car ready to be dyno tuned and actually making some crazy power and then taking it down the drag strip so yeah man i made up my mind i'm going lt2 intake manifold if you guys know anybody with the c8 engine cover hit me up you know what i'm saying because i really want to get the c8 engine cover because i feel like it looks way better than just having the intake manifold exposed i ain't gonna lie the lt2 intake manifold without the engine cover on it is ugly as hell to me i really don't like it so with that being said i definitely need that c8 engine cover because i have a plan in my mind of what i'm gonna do with it as far as the colorway and stuff like that so if you know anybody who's selling one or you know where i can get one for a good price and it's not a scam let me know down in the comment section down below get this video a big thumbs up if you guys are excited for the performance journey um as far as vader goes hopefully 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 the drive shaft comes in this week we can get it in the car and the car will be back on the road i'm so sad that i missed all of the texas 2k events i was able to go on that cruise with uh the, all of the g8s and whatnot in houston and go on a tour of circle d as their warehouse and you know headquarters that they just moved into so that was super dope definitely going to be doing some work with them um shout out to my boy cameron again for you know what i'm saying giving you guys the rundown and myself the rundown on one of their circle d stall converters for uh, a10 uh vehicle you know what i'm saying i'm definitely going to be working with that same torque converter so with all that being said y'all that's actually going to wrap it up for today's video man i'm super stoked to get this car back on the road get the headers put on it get the e85 put on it and just filling up with the yellow pump man like that's definitely going to be dope you know what i'm saying pull up to the gas station put that yellow handle in there you know what i'm saying yeah man i, I can't wait but let's just look at this car one more time man. let's just look at this car so so you know it, my interior is kind of dirty don't 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 get on me in the comments about it i'm gonna clean it up don't worry but carbon fiber on the side skirts man then you got it on the on the on the shift knob area then you got it on the push start area and then you got it on the stem. But yeah, man, without further ado, that's actually going to wrap it up for today's video, man. If you guys are new to the channel, man, hit that subscribe button. Turn on those post notifications and drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know, like I said, are you guys ready for the E85 to be, you know what I'm saying, going on Vader? What do you think the fastest pass Vader's going to make NA? Honestly, I'm hoping for high 10s, low 9s. Um, yes, we are going to be camming the car, so that's when I expect to be in the nines after the cam. Um, as of right now, with the setup that I told you guys we're running, I'm thinking high 10s, low 11s consistently. I and mean, that's honestly good enough for me. I'm not going to be tripping if it doesn't do anything better than that. Um, then we probably got some issues that we got to work out within the tune, but we'll get everything taken care of. So, like I said, it's going to wrap it up for today's video. Hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, give this video a big thumbs up, and drop a comment in the comment section down below. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace.